this exceptional carving by Paul Gauguin. It's very much a mixed media piece. The Tahitian girl is actually carved out of a piece of tamanu wood, but the earrings, presumably found objects, have been affixed by the artist uh, to the bust. Around the girl's neck are necklaces made of pieces of coral and the shells of sea snails, presumably found by Gauguin locally and strung into these necklaces. Look at this groove carved into the left ear of the sculpture. We know from many of Gauguin's most celebrated paintings that it was typical for Tahitian girls to wear a fresh flower behind their left ear, and we assume that that's what this groove was originally intended for. While the carving is not signed with Gauguin's name, it does feature a form of signature in the shape of these two foxes carved into the nape of the girl's neck, a subject familiar from such paintings as Gauguin's The Loss of Virginity. These black painted eyes are as mystical and enchanting as anything we find in Gauguin's paintings. In fact, for Gauguin, the greatest realization of his creative visions was not his paintings, but the carvings that he produced on Tahiti. The present sculpture was given as a gift to a 10-year-old girl named Jeanne Fournier. Fournier kept the work until her later years when she consigned it to Sotheby's in London in 1961. The purchaser in that sale has reconsigned the work for sale at Sotheby's this May.